Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Got a nice little breeze going, keeping things cool. Full sun. And we are out here doing a bait check. And I found them. That would be these guys. So uh, I'm just getting set up here. It's a, a high tide right now, plus this is a deep hole. But this whole dark area is just full of pilchards as you can see down there. Uh, so I'm going to get set up while I'm on the outskirts. Then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my paddle and uh, churn up the sand there and dust up this area and then throw the net on them because otherwise uh, they'll just spook out from underneath the net. So let's get ready and see what we can do because if we got pilchards, we're going to catch some fish because live bait matters. <laughs> so I'm going to use my paddle and just create a dust storm. Ooh, that spooked them. And hopefully the tide is going that way, not just the wind. And it'll create a cloud that'll camouflage my net coming down on them. Well, that spooked them initially, but we'll see here. Uh, we must be going like wind against the tide or something, but the cloud is forming and it's moving out there. So hopefully they'll enjoy that. You can see them down in there. Well, that worked perfectly. It dusted up the waters here, so it's not so clear. So I'm going to throw on there and see what happens. Let it sink, let it sink, let it sink. Very deep, very, very deep. I don't feel wiggly. It's all these pilchers fleeing the area though. That's heavy. Oh yeah, I think we got some. Get out of there. Yeah, we definitely got some. Oh, yeah, we definitely got some. I don't need that many. Get out of there. Raining pilchards. Well, can't beat that when a plan comes together. Well, I got way too many, so try to clear some of these out of here. I don't think I'm gonna do any chumming. And I could always come back and get some more. And I've got some back in my well. So it flushed these guys out really well. Let's go do some catching. Get that foam out of there. That's what'll kill them. Alrighty, good to go. Okay, looks like we've got an incoming tide. Wind's kind of going diagonal this way. So I'm gonna just start throwing out a few of these guys. I need to get rid of a lot of them so they don't die. And just salt this area and see what comes up. Look at all these pilchards. Nice beauties in there. These guys. are my offshore baits. These are the Sandies type of pilchards. Let's see if we can get any fish popping. I threw a bunch out there and not seeing any splashes, kerplunks, nothing. 
Got a couple of baits out, one on top, one on the bottom, not much, so I'm not gonna give it too much time. You throw pilchards out and if the fish don't come, they ain't there. So uh, let's move on out of here. Oh, take that back. Got something. Got this on the bottom with the uh, cobra jig head. Oh, that's our mackerel. Hey, they're in the channels. Hello, Mr. Mackerel. Looks like a zero. Yep. Zero's in the channels. Nice. Guess they're cruising the bottom. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Teeth. Oh, it's gonna cut my line. Don't cut the line. I want my jig back. All I want is my jig back. Bleeding. Got a nice little Ciro mackerel. Nice to see they're around. Basically just taking this as the quarter ounce uh, Cobra jig head. Going through the chin, out the top of their head in there in the mouth. That'll allow me to kind of drag it along the bottom. That's how I got that bite. Just let it sink, let it sit, and then I could bounce it back. Alright, there we go. Got something on the top line. What do we got? What do we got? Coming along the bottom here. Uh oh. What do we got? Ah, another zero. Well, at least another mackerel. Not sure if it's a zero or not. Oh no! Ah, oh, dang! I got it. Got my line tangled. Ah, oh, busted it. Well, that might be a good thing. I'll get all tangled. So the mackerels are inside. Good to know. All right, there we go. Oh. Something's got it. There we go. Oh, let go of it. No, he's got it. Just keeps swimming around. Oh, jacks. Stupid jacks. Saw a school of them. Dang it. All right, there we go. Just hit the water and whacked it. Small jack, maybe. What do we got? Oh, puller. Oh, mackerels. All there are is mackerels. Spanish or Ciro? Little guy. That's bait size. Little guy. I didn't know they came that small. Don't bite. Don't bite. Out of here. Alright, we're going to pick up another quick load here. I'm just gonna blind cast right in the middle of them. See if I can. <laughs> it's pretty packed down there, so let's see what we get. Let it sink, let it sink, let it sink. I am. And do we have sparkles? I think we're gonna have sparkles. Yeah, we got sparkles. Not a ton, but that'll fit the bucket perfectly. Got some good chunkers in there. Alrighty. Same deal, let's start throwing out a few. Get the party started. See if there's anything around. Plus the reduced amount of bait I've got in the bucket. Uh, 
something got it. Think something's got it. Think something's got it. There we go. What is that? Snapper? Ah, nice snapper. Ugh. Mangrove. Nice seeing ya. Came for the pilcher party. Nice sandwich size. Doubled on. I think a school of jacks came through. Dang it. Get off my line. Maybe. Ugh. Feels like a jack. Yep, looking kind of jackish. Oh, yeah, we're doubled up. Uh oh. I need to get you out of here. Double, double troubles. Get out, get out, get out. And then we've got this guy. He's in the weeds. This may not be a jack. Yeah, that's a, that's a weed fish. Zero, thinking, yep, what about a Spanish? Ah, Spanish, that'll work. Don't cut me. Zero, Spanish, mangrove, jack. Always a party when there's Pilchards around. Yay! Out of here. Right, there we go. There we go. Oh, did it spit it? No, it's just taking me down. Oh no, oh no. Oh, what was that? What was that? Hopefully that wasn't my tarpon I was looking for. Oh, and this thing is wrapped in my anchor line. Hope I caught that on video and I could see what it was. Don't bite me, don't bite me. Go this way. A couple more times, buddy. A couple more times. There we go. 
Oh, I hope that wasn't a tarpon. Ah, you swallowed it. You can keep it. That one's all mangled. There you go. Well, coming to the end of magic hour. Not much action, just a lot of bite-offs. Uh, I lost a lot of hooks just going straight to the uh, leader. Then uh, when I went to uh, wire, then I just got a bunch of uh, baits getting cut in half. So that, uh, that's okay. The tide just never reversed. So I think when I first got here, it was just the end of the uh, outgoing and then it started coming in. So I'll definitely need to come back out uh, when we have an outgoing tide. I think that'll fire everything up, but still caught everything, caught uh, Spanish, uh, Ciro's, Jack's, Mangroves. So you can't beat a day like that, especially when you got a bucket of pilchards. Uh, we got uh, the Sandies, the real big Sandy is the pilchards, and then the Razor Bellies as well, so I can't beat that. So uh, those around, I'm happy. Good thing is, is that if I could make it consistently, I could pick up a bucket and then run offshore, and then that's definitely a fun day. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.